So as you see here, you have your normal Windows computer, right? Um, but sometimes you forget your password. Huh, incorrect. Well, let's try it again. Hmm, that's not it. Okay, well, there is a way around this, right? So insert your uh, Windows uh, disk in. And uh, when I say that, I mean your USB. In my case, since we're doing it in a virtual environment, we're using um, an ISO image. So assume you popped it in now, we'll restart the machine. And as you see, it's restarting. And what we're going to do is basically bypass the security so we can get in and um, not really have to worry about a password, right? So we're starting up the Windows installation. Takes a moment. And uh, it, a lot of times businesses or people with the uh, computers and they set a password to expire, which is a great idea, but unfortunately people, well, forget, uh, well, the password. <laughs> uh, and a lot of times people will make humongous passwords, right? But they forget what they uh, use. So now what we'll do is we'll go through the settings and we want to repair our computer which is technically true, right? We're gonna to go to the advanced options, command prompt, and what we're gonna do is go and find the C drive. Nope. See, well, when I say C drive, I mean the Windows installation. Okay, we found it. And let's just double check. Okay, so we have a uh, tester, uh, Lance, and public, right? So what we'll go ahead and do is go back, oops, uh, CD Windows, and we want to go into System 32. Okay, so now what we want to do is make a copy of cmd.exe. We'll name it cmd2. Or better yet, cmdbackup.exe. Now it says it can't find cmd, right? But there it is. So we'll do uh, CMD, and if you notice, it showed CMD, right? That's okay. So it made a copy of CMD. Fine, we'll live. So let's go ahead and go to uh, uh, rename uh, CMD.exe to utilman.exe, and it says that can't be found, right? But yet, there it is. So, we know it's there because we won't be able to open it, right? Yes, and that's a message that you will see. Uh, so we know that's there and we know it did work because again, CMD backup is there and cmd.exe, nowhere to be found. So we do know it exists. Now, you may be able to get it to say that, um, uh, you know, it may be completely fine on your end. Um, and maybe it says it was successful, maybe not. But in a lot of times, especially in Windows 8.1, I've noticed that it's a hit and miss. Sometimes it'll say uh, it can't find uh, the, the file. And sometimes uh, it'll open cmd.exe. I can't explain it. So it's kind of a hit and miss uh, whether it'll say successful or, well, not successful, but it won't show anything. Uh, just like in Linux, if it, the command was successful, it just goes to the next line. So let's go ahead and get out of here. We know it's there. And again, we know it's there because util man is there. Whether Windows says it is or isn't, well, that's another story. So we're going to go ahead and uh, continue and exit to Windows 8. Uh, remove your USB uh, drive um, or stick, rather. So I'll go ahead and remove my virtual one. And uh, now it'll load up Windows for us. And I apologize for the speed. This is uh, running in the Oracle uh, virtual box. So now here we go, right? Now, the reason I'm using uh, my Hotmail slash Passport is simply because I want you to see it doesn't matter if you use the Passport service or a local account. So see this little ease of access? Oh no, look at that, it loaded the util man. 
something that it claims does not exist, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is net uh, user. And as we see, we have an administrator guest in Lance. Um, now here's the thing. Let's say you do need to uh, enable the administrator account, right? Uh, go ahead and do net users uh, administrator slash active colon yes. Now that'll make the administrator account active and next time you reboot, that will be one of the user accounts that you can log into. But I do not want that active, so I'm gonna do no. Okay, but now let's go ahead and do net user. Uh, we can add somebody if we wanted. And we could also change the user password to Lance, but we're not going to. So we'll do net user uh, testing, uh, and then we'll do slash add. Oh, we'll probably need a password. We'll put what everybody loves, hacked, slash add. That's good. Now if we type net users, <laughs> none. Oop, I'm sorry, net users. Uh, we have administrator, guest, Lance, and testing. Great. So we can always get rid of testing. Now, if you want that as a backup account, you could always do, um, instead of slash add, we we'll do slash active, uh, no. And then again, if you do net users, it'll still be there because it is an added account, but it's not active. But just for this, just to show you, we're gonna reactivate it, right? And again, we have the administrator account disabled, but I showed you how to do it. And again, that slash active is the way to keep it there. Now, let's say you don't want that account there anymore, right? Uh, well, we could just modify this. Uh, you would just do slash delete. But just for testing, I wanna show you. So we'll do exit. And uh, as you see, just doesn't show anything. We gotta reboot again. So we'll restart. And that's the last restart we're gonna have to do. Uh, because now we have an account on here that um, we can log into the computer. Uh, but now let's say you're in somebody else's system. Don't add another account. Activate the administrator account and log in through the administrator account. And with that ex extremely powerful command prompt that you basically have system-wide access technically, um, you could change the administrator password if there was an administrator password. So we're letting it load up, okay? And as you see, we have the account testing. We'll go ahead and type in the password hacked. Oh wait, <laughs> I was gonna use the on-screen keyboard but I forgot that's done. So we'll go ahead and type hacked. And Instead of talking you through this, you know this is what you're forced to see on any new user account in Windows 8, uh, 8 slash 8.1. Uh, now, if you're on Windows 7 and doing this, you won't have to see this long, stupid message because that's obviously not for uh, 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 Windows 7. This is strictly a Windows 8 thing. So, but this will work in Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. Anyways, I'm Lance for the Tech News Show. Hope this was useful for you.